Hi guys, today I'll be sharing with you the process that I do when I take care of my hair after swimming and before swimming. I will have clips in this video showing you the process of what I do to take care of my braids when I am swimming. So there is something that I didn't have when I was on vacation because I procrastinated and procrastinated and then when it was time for me to order. I didn't have enough time for me to get the product before I went on vacation. But this is something that if you're going to be in the chlorinated water a lot, if you're going to be in the salt water a lot, if you're just going to be basically swimming in salt or chlorinated water is something that's good to have, especially for us natural girls, for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're natural, not natural, if you're Caucasian, it doesn't matter. It's for everybody. And this is the swimmer shampoo by Malibu. I got this um, packet because I wanted both the shampoo and the conditioner for my hair. Just wanted to use them if I'm going on vacation just to grab them and go because more than likely I'll be using that a lot. I have two boys, have to be in the pool, right? <laughs> but anyway, so it comes with a shampoo and conditioner and I'll show you what they look like. I'll put a picture on the screen because it's kind of hard with the sun, using the sunlight for my um, lighting right now. So it's kind of hard seeing them. I don't know if you can see these. We'll try. So anyway, guys, so the shampoo is by Malibu. And I'll put a picture up because it's sometimes difficult. Well, it's showing now. The Swimmer Wellness Shampoo and the conditioner. So these two, I've used them already now. I've used them on my children's hair because they go swimming a lot. So I've used it and it works well on their hair. But it's supposed to be less harsh than using regular shampoo and it takes away the chlorine and all that stuff from your hair. So it's a good shampoo to invest in if you are someone that swims a lot and you want to keep your hair healthy. So um, there's a few things to do when you are going to be swimming in the pool with your hair. Because the chlorinated water, um, it's very harsh on our hair. In order for your hair not to soak up all that water, it is good to wet your hair before, if you're going to be, you know, in, you know, putting your hair, your head underneath the water. It's important that you wet your hair before you go in the pool. Um, you can wet it with just the regular tap water. But it's good to wet your hair before you get in the pool because it's going to help your hair not to get all that chlorinated water into it. It's going to get some, but if you wet your hair, you're not going to get as much. So that's something you can do. Another thing you can do is when you get out of the pool, rinse your hair off. There's normally some shower that's there by the pool, and that's something you can use and just rinse your hair out after you finish swimming. That's really going to help. And then when you get home, you use your shampoo and your conditioner. I didn't have the shampoo and the conditioner, as I said, because I procrastinated. And when I was ready to order, it was just not going to be here on time before I left for vacation. So I had to use, I will put in the video, the clip what I used um, while I was on vacation. It did the job, but... Obviously, I think I had to wash my hair like three of the days that I was there because we went to the pool for the other days we were there. And I didn't love having to wash my hair with the um, shampoo and the conditioner because I really bought them, brought them for my children. So yeah, it worked fine on their hair. It didn't do nothing to them. But yeah, let me, uh, you know, our hair is not used to being washed that often. <laughs> so yeah, but I am... Um, very happy to try these whenever I try them I will give an update on my channel on my actual hair instead of my children's hair I've tried it on theirs and it works perfect as I said I'll have to try it on my hair and just see how it feels and I'll give you an update on that after I shampoo and condition my hair I used a mousse back on my hair I think I had the texture ID mousse that's what I used on my hair and then I I also use the Uncle Funky's daughter, they're leaving. I use that on my hair, then the mousse, and then I use the blow dryer in the room and I just blowed my hair um, to get it dry. 
So that's basically what I did for the three times I went to the pool while I was on vacation. We were only there for five days, I think. So yeah, so that's all I did for my hair. My hair was fine. I still hate, even though it wasn't like extension braids, I hated taking out braids. I do not like doing braids anymore. But anyway, guys, I hope this information about swimming, the swimming shampoo and conditioner will be helpful to somebody who is trying to go to the pool a lot. <laughs> but I wanted to also share, there are a few other things that came in the box. It's a swimmer's removes chlorine, mineral, and salt, restore shine and manageability. And it's um, weekly direction. Shampoo, rinse, and pour crystal into the wet hand, rub together, similar to the, the hard water treatment. And then you're gonna put it through the hair and leave it for five minutes and then rinse out. And then after you rinse it, you're gonna use the conditioner on your hair. So yeah, so that's a treatment that's in there. There are four of them in the box. There's four of these treatments nice. in the box. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope these videos are gonna be helpful to anyone who is trying to go to the pool, swim, and still keep their hair nice. Bye.